Good to see you, Hunter. We are in the mountains of Timbergold Trails hunting birds, and we do this as follows. So thank you, Rufi or Ruffy02, for this idea. There are two versions of the F3. I'm going to use the standard, not the engraved, and also the 20 gauge uh, semi automatic shotgun. Let's go look for some white tailed ptarmigans. Hunting the ptarmigan is mostly by listening. You can hear the flapping of their wings as they relocate as a group, or you can hear them chatting. In very rare cases, you can uh, pick up calls. Doesn't really happen much. When you find a group, just sneak closer. You have to be silent if you walk or run into them. Most of them will get up and get away. Some might just sit on the ground. But they're not easy to see here in the high grass, in the tall grass, or also in the woods. I can hear them chat this way. You can hear them far. And I really start sneaking pr rather soon. Yeah, it's over here, it's in multiple areas. Or we have multiple birds chatting, but over here I hear a few. So I will uh, sneak towards them, keep listening. When they sit on the ground, they're easiest to locate, of course. When they fly, they're hard to follow. They go long distances. So this might be the group. And now we can hear the chatting better. What they do sometimes is what I call nests. They sit in one place, and even if you sh uh, shoot at them, they will return to that place. So you can just stay in that place, birds will return. And this way you can pretty much get a whole flock. Now I have the um, spotting from one here. Uh, there it is. Uh, right behind the tree there. But I can still hear the rest. If you can get two, that's pretty good already. As they get up and fly, they make weird turns. Or maybe I should say they make turns, as you would expect. Not like the pheasants. Or the turkeys, if they ever get up in the air. So up here I can still hear them. One way is sneaking, one way is rushing, running at them once you are close. And I think I am close, the chatting has stopped. They will start chatting again when you stop moving. Yeah, they're right up here. I will start using the F3. I'm not even sure which gun is better for these. I feel the 20 gauge is better for a bit longer shots. 
Now they get up and disappear. And we down two birds already. They're not easy to shoot. I miss them a lot. More than more than pheasants for sure. Some only run on the ground when they flee. So they won't be far, they will start chanting again. Small bird. The good ones will be above 550. The worst that can happen is if the whole group scatters and you can hear chatting from five, six different directions. That just drives you crazy. I already have two directions now. And now they come back. There they come. So maybe we have a nest here. Maybe this is one of those places where they will return as long as there are birds. And if there is no birds, <laughs> then there is no return, of course. No, but what I mean is um, I've had situations where the very last bird out of maybe 10 or 12 still came back. And you know the flock is extinct if you ha no longer have tracks on the ground. So I should maybe pick up some tracks here, put some X's on the hunter mate. That's always a good indication is uh, for, for how many birds you still have. I have chatting above me and flapping the wings below me. And I've been spotting a really weird buck. Timbergold Trails has broken apart. What I've noticed is many times when they return, it's two birds. Not just one. And this clearly sounds like multiples. But I'll be glad to get one. one that came from behind was closer. You cannot see a dome if the bird is really close. And since I cannot find it, I'm just going to move away until we can see the dome. Or is this the dead bird? Nope. Ah, oh, hold on. That's a track, but we have time. You really have time. It takes a minute or two, more like two, not one, until they return. Just making sure the weapon is loaded.
Uh, you can hear the flapping. Birds approaching. Down here is more action. So let's try the rotting. Oh, there they are. I think I missed the first bird. But I got the second. No, I don't think we have a bird here. Let's see if they come back to this place. We'll just sit and wait here on this rock, like a vulture. And we can hear them come. Even if you hear them chat, they go sit down somewhere, start chatting, but they really want to return to the rest. Let's see if they come here. One of the rear calls. So they are up in the air. They're looking to regroup. I'm going to go here where the, all the action is. So this is, one of, is, this is not one of those situations where you can just sit and keep shooting birds. Where are you guys? In the thick trees. Too bad we missed two birds. <laughs> but if there's so much flapping going on, it's hard to locate where, where they're really at. Okay, this attempt failed. Right now they're all over the place. Pretty sure they will try to regroup. Yeah, these guys are too far away, but I got, but I got this one. There's still quite a few birds around. I think I will stick around on this rock. Every one to two minutes, or maybe two to three minutes, the bird should come around. And again, it's two birds at the same time. Oh well, one after the other. We haven't really had a big one yet. And now the rain's going to come in. That's about the worst because then all you hear is rain. And hunting the ptarmigan is really about hearing or listening. Maybe we can get one more 
or two. The sound is from the rain, but we have snow. One's coming back there. Oh, got it. I find him hard to shoot. Even with the 10 gauge. And another rock here. Well, actually, it's the same rock. It's a twin brother. So now it's uh, really hard to hear. I've got the rain sound. And I don't hear them chat. I don't know where they sit. I think I can hear a bird. Yes, there it is. Ooh, I hit it. Nice. That's going to be my last one for this area. So I will quickly check how many birds we have shot. But it's been all around here in this vessel, pretty much. All in this area. It's really about figuring out where they want to live, where they want to regroup, and then just mostly waiting. Another small one. But I want to have a different weather, and I will try the uh, 20 gauge now. New session started. Spooked some sheep here. This one is actually a nice ram. But what's important is I have some flapping ahead. So we have birds in the area. So I did check the history. I shot nine birds. And sorry about the uh, score. About 450, of course, is a good score. My personal best is 457. The current leaderboard, uh, top of the leaderboard bird is 479. And I actually shot a 445 in that hunt. <laughs> so I didn't realize it was a nice bird. So we have birds flying around, could be migration activities, could be spooked, could be regrouping, or just for leisure. You never know why these birds fly. I send them the sheep up into the forest there, maybe that threw them off. Pretty strong wind here, pretty loud. Every now and then you get these gusts where it gets hard to hear. Ah, the silence. These winds are really strong and loud. And now since the wind is gone, we can hear chats from all over the place. Let's just go to one. As if we could go to two. But I mean, let's just focus on one. That can make your head spin. You move towards one area and you feel like, oh, but over here, maybe this is closer. It's just best to decide and keep going. I'm slowly approaching an area where I have at least two or three. I think I will just rush at these guys here. As long as they chat, it's okay. When they stop chatting, 
they have sensed you one one way or another. Oh no, the rain! Are you crazy? So let's see how we do with the twenty gauge here. Oh wow, I had a major lag. <laughs> Too many birds. One I got. 402. Let's just check if we have any birds down up here. That's the worst that can happen. If your screen starts stuttering. Oh, there's one. Very nice, there's another. Ah, I'm out of shots. <laughs> Ah, oh, the silence. Wow, this is loud now. So, luckily the rain went away as quickly as it came. And we have birds coming in. There's one. Yeah, I find it hard to find them in the air when you just have the flapping. But that's our third bird already. So glad the rain went away. This really killed your ptarmigan hunting. Four twenty-eight. Not too bad. Before every bird was crap and now every bird is good. No, I think once the competition start, 450 is still a mark to hit. So I will sit here and learn if this is a nest and if they keep coming back. Next two birds ap approaching. They're flying down there. And so does this one. Maybe I'm not quite at the center of the nest. And the rain comes back. There's one. One went over here. Yes, in the third shot I have it. So the 20 gauge is not too bad really. I know this also with the ducks for longer shots, it's not too bad. So let's see, this was pretty far. I think I hit it twice. That's also the advantage of the 20 gauge. Three shots instead of just two. Yes, two hits. 417 and you can tell from the tracks still a few animals around is this a dead bird or a track it's gotta be a track very simple to find out just click another yep 
it was a track. And chatting down here. This would be a good place to sit and wait. There's one bird that just keeps chatting down here. And I don't have anyone flying in anymore. All right, let's just lay flat and the bird will start chanting again. Down here it is somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Got it. So you see the bird stops chatting when you get closer. This was pretty close, actually. I was surprised. So I've had no more activity. And I've moved up the hill, up the mountain. And I've got a flock here in front of me. Not sure where they live. I just have them flying towards me. Sneaking after these flocks is pretty pointless. They go long ways. Ooh! At least one of them landed. Very nice. This was the long call. Right here in front of me. Let's go find it. And I had a bighorn sheep also to my left. Right here. Oh, I got them both. Pretty, pretty. Four twenty-two, and if you wonder where this is, this where is where we started before. If you go over this hump, you end up in the place where we were before. Here is the bird. Number seven. Why don't I show you on the map? This is what is interesting. I started here. Going up here, saw some birds, fast traveled here, and now I'm here shooting these birds. Before, when I talked about this vessel, where all the birds are. This is the place to be. There's always white-tailed ptarmigans here. All right, we shot seven birds with the 20 gauge. Before, we had nine birds with the uh, Blazer F3. This was fun doing. Thank you for the suggestion. Make sure you make your own. Place your idea below the video. Until then, Thank you very much. Stay in touch.